this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free. And all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your Forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. All right, everyone, this is Josh Taylor, and I'm doing the Forex Market Preview today with for Trade Advisor Pro. And before we get into today's trades, we're going to keep this short today. I'm only going to go over a few pairs, but I want to show you a little bit more in depth of why we're taking some of the trades that we're taking. And I want to show you a trade that I took um, today on the Aussie New Zealand dollar. Uh, now this was actually, right now it is 6.24 p.m. in New York time. This is a few hours ago. And right now we're looking at the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, four hour chart. And here's what I saw on this chart. And you can see some of the lines we've got laying out here are some basic support levels, support resistance levels. And you can see that on this chart since, uh, let's see what, uh, what is this thing going to do? Oh, turn the Fibonacci off. That on this pair, uh, since yesterday, that this pair basically went into a sideways channel, and I'll tell you exactly why. Um, the um, the New Zealand dollar and Aussie dollar are both coming out with news today, and so basically, when when there's huge news announcements, which such as unemployment rates um, uh, and statistics along that line, uh, a pair tends to go into neutral, which is a great opportunity to trade. By the way, I mean there was a lot of opportunity. If you can zoom in here, in fact, if you narrow this down to like a one-hour chart, there was opportunity to buy and sell all the way through here. And if you've seen one of the other videos, we talk about trading in a channel. Um, you, 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 here, you know, that's a great little channel to trade in. There was a lot of opportunities to buy and sell in here. Uh, so basically, here's what I saw. I saw, oops, I lost my uh, chart there. Oops, wrong one. Four-hour. All right, so what I saw here is that this pair had pretty much developed a nice solid base right around this level uh, since yesterday. And um, let's, see, let's uh, actually thicken this up a little bit. A little bit too thick. And um, it was basically trading in this mini range until we knew that the news announcement was going to come out. And so what I was looking for on this pair was... Um, Price was all the way right down here at this 12600 mark, and um, I saw an opportunity to go long on this pair. See if I could, and uh, my goal was for this pair to basically run up here to this uh, 12700 mark, and oh, I, you know I expected this trade to run for two or three days. I put my stop um, at. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't remember exactly where I put my stop, but I put it at an 80 pip stop. Actually, no, it was a 60 pip stop, so I was right down in this area here. Uh, 60 pips, 50 pips, somewhere in that range. Um, and so I had a nice stop, and my win, win to, um, my risk reward ratio was a 2 to 1, a little over 2 to 1, so it was looking solid. And what happened was, I figured worst case scenario, if the, the New Zealand dollar news comes out, um, very very positive you know it would go against my trade not close the trade early um, I don't want to I don't like getting full stopped out I risk 1% per trade on my accounts and I don't want to risk an entire stop 1% uh, loss I'd rather take it a 0.3 or 0.4 percent loss um, so wait here, but here's what happened let's go back to Forex uh, factory so I took this trade around 415 and um, Right here, the original unemployment rate was uh, previous that, that it came out was 6.8, and they expected 6.7, which is a better move, right? But even the New Zealand dollar against the Aussie dollar, the Aussie dollar has been strengthening. I figured worst case scenario, even if it came out at 6.7, that this trade would still slowly bit work its way up, and it still stayed in this range. I'll at least close with a little bit of profit, right? Make a small profit and close the trade early. 
Um, but what happened was the New Zealand dollar actually came out at six points, um, point six points below the expected. So not only did it improve, uh, went up point five, uh, point five worse than it was, but it was point six difference between the forecasted and the actual. So the New Zealand dollar dropped like a rock. In fact, let me get to the New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex traded alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.